He paid the price for us to prosper in this life. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. So that through his poverty you might be what? Rich. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For his written curse is everyone that hangs on the tree. So that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. He was the one who paid the price for us to prosper in every area of our lives. Hindi na po kinakailangan pa magbayad. You know, para lang tayo sumagana. You know, material financially, kinakailangan magbayad po yung ating kalusugan. Marahe pong ganyan. Are you still here? Now, minsan po yung aking pong uh, kapatid na sumunod sa akin na ospital, tumawag po sa akin. Okay, buti po eh, buti po yung, 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 uh, Uh, nangyari po sa kanya ay mild stroke lamang. Sabi ng doktor sa kanya, Naku, konti na lang. Pag, kung ito'y nangyari medyo konti na lang, hindi ka bubuhayin. So, pinaalalahanan ko ang aking kapatid. Kasi yung aking kapatid, sobrang sipag po nun. Okay? Araw-araw, tatrabaho, you know, nasa real estate na, mayroon pang ganitong sideline, and so on and so forth. You know, pag sumisimba nga kapag ka linggo, Inamin niya sa akin, kami silang mag-asawa kapag kalinggo, meron silang sinisimbahan doon sa bulakan. Yun ang mayroon, nakatingin sila doon sa kalang, sa kalang relos. Mabira si pastor, medyo mapapahaba yata ang preaching ni pastor. May naghihintay pa sa ating, you know, doon sa ating tripping ngayon. Linggo may tripping. Nangihinayang doon sa parokyano. Sa kanyang kikitain. Okay? Kukulang sa tulog, sobra sa trabaho. I told her, ani mo maraming pera. Mara, mara, mara Kikita ka nga dyan, pero ang, ang consequence naman niya, yung kalusugan mo. Buti yan lang nangyari sa'yo. Amen? Are you still here? Now listen to me. You know, in the kingdom of God, you don't have to toil. Sabi pa natin, no more toil. Na kung kinakailangan po sa, sa ating pong buhay, kinakailangan natin, hindi kasi sa atin yung walong oras sa trabaho, kinakailangan pa natin mag-overtime araw-araw ng apat na oras, Are you still here? At kinakailangan nating magtrabaho kahit linggo? I tell you, you are no longer working. You are toiling. And that is not the will of God for your life. Come on. So again, you know, in the world, you win some, you lose some. You gain some, you lose some. That is not in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, you win it all. You win everything. In the kingdom of God, God wants you to prosper in every aspect, in every area of your life. Now, 3 John verse 2. A very familiar scripture to us, 3 John verse 2. So again, as far as Jesus Christ was concerned, He gave more emphasis on the soul than the physical things and the material things in this life. Okay, 3 John verse 2. Praise the Lord. In verse 1, third letter of John, John the Beloved. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Now, who was Gaius? Now, Gaius was not an apostle. He was not a pastor. He was not a prophet. He was not on the king's side, on the priest's side, so to, speak, so to speak. Gaius was a believer called by God on the king's side. Amen? He was on the king's side. Okay? Now, he was a very wealthy person. You know, <clears throat> and then verse 2, Beloved, I desire, he said, above all things, that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. Now, notice what, what, what John said. You know, Beloved, I desire, I pray above all things that you may prosper, that's material financial prosperity, and be in health, being in health, is equivalent to physical prosperity. Don't you know that having a, having a healthy body is already considered as prosperity in the Bible? Ito po itinatawag po na prosperity sa Biblia. Kaya po yung prosperity po, hindi lamang ito pagkakaroon na maraming pera. Aani mo maraming pera kung maya't maya naman ikaw ay nasa ospital. Paano may enjoy ang yung maraming pera Paano may enjoy ang iyong kayamanan kung mas madalas ka sa ospital kesa sa iyong bahay? 
Amen? So yung nariwas yung pagkakaroon po ng kalusugan sa katawan, ito po ay isang puri na ng kasaganaan. Nari po ba tayo? In fact, meron po mga milyonaryo na nasa ospital ngayon, okay, at sinabi na ng doktor sa kanila marahil, wala ka ng pag-asang gumaling, ginawa na namin lahat ng magagawa namin. Alam mo ba yung ganong klaseng tao? Kung tataringin po siya, willing po siyang ipagpalit ang kanyang material na kayamanan sa kalusugan. Willing po siyang, you know, gasto sila lahat ng pera, bumalik lamang kanyang kalusugan. Amen? So in other words, brothers and sisters, yun ang pagkakaroon po ng kalusugan sa katawan, ito po ay isang uri na ng kasaganaan na itinuturo sa atin ng Biblia. Kaya hindi po pwede na para lang tayo sumagana materially, isasacrifice natin ating kalusugan. Ano po tayo? Pababayaan natin ang ating katawan. Hindi tayo magpapahinga halos. Ang pagkakaroon po ng kalusugan, ito po ay isang uri ng kasaganaan. So, so John said, Beloved, I desire above all things that you may prosper. That is material and financial prosperity. And be in health. That is physical prosperity. Even us. Sabi po natin even us. Even as your soul prosper. So notice there, that is prosperity in the kingdom of God. Ang, ang tunay pong kasaganaan sa karyan po ng Diyos, ang kasaganaan po nating material, financial, physical, ito po ay resulta, ay da, ito ay dapat resulta ng kasaganaan po ng ating pong kaluluwa. Okay? Whatever prosperity that we can have on the outside should only be the result of the prosperity that we already have on the inside. Amen? Sa sanlibutan po, ang alam lang ng prosperity ay yung pong sa labas. Are you still here? Sa sanlibutan, posible po na ikaw ay mag-prosper sa labas na hindi ka nagpa-prosper sa loob. Sa sanlibutan po, posible na ikaw ay magkaroon ng maraming pera, maraming material na bagay, pero yung inyong kaluluwa naman ay mahirap. Amen. Posible po yan sa sanlibutan. It is possible to prosper outwardly without, without being prospered inwardly. But in the kingdom of God, The moment you prosper inwardly, you can help it, but you will prosper outwardly. Amen. Whatever prospect that you have on the inside will ultimately be manifested on the outside. So yung po ang kasaganaan po na, na inuturo po sa atin ng Panginoon. Yung po ang kasaganaan sa, 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 sa karyan po ng Diyos. Nagpapasimula sa kalooban. Kaya sa ating pong buhay, ang dapat po natin maging priority ay sumagana muna tayo sa ating kalooban. Mabagong ating kaisipan. Amen? Magkaroon ng pagbabago sa ating isip. So yung po ang unang kasaganaan na dapat po natin na uh, uh, inuuna po sa ating pumbuhay. So magana muna tayo sa ating kalooban. That's why uh, John said, Beloved, I desire of all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In other words, in the kingdom of God, your material, your financial, your physical prosperity, you know, is in proportion or in accordance or in proportion to the prosperity of your soul. So in other words, lahat po ng bahagi na ating buhay nagpa-prosper sa karyan po ng Diyos. Hindi lamang po yung labas ang nagpa-prosper. Sa karyan ng Diyos, una, loob, pagkatapos, kasunod na po yung prosperity on the outside. Kaya yung po ang matibay po ng prosperity. Yung po ang prosperity subok na matibay, subok na matatag. Amen? Yung mga medyo bata-bata pang katulad ko, meron kayo naalala. <laughs> Amen? So in other words, brothers and sisters, you know what? Yung po ang kasaganaan po ang tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya unayin po natin sumagana sa ating pong kaisipan. Sa ating pong kaluluwa, magbago tayo ng pag-iisip.